Madhava Kunjabi Hari Shodanandana Vajajana Ranjana Shodanandana Vajajana Ranjana Shodanandana Vajajana Ranjana Shodanandana Vajajana Ranjana Jamuna Tira Manachari Jamuna Tira Manachari Jaya Radha Madhava <coughs> Kunjabi Hari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hari Shashudhanandana Vajajana Ranjana Shashudhanandana Vajajana Ranjana Shashudhanandana Vajajana Ranjana Shashudhanandana Vajajana Ranjana Jamuna Tira Vanachari Jamuna Tira Vanachari Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hari Jai Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hari Jai Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hari Jai Gopi Jana Baba Giri Vardhari Jai Gopi Jana Baba Giri Vardhari Jashodhanandana Rajajana Ranjana Jashodhanandana Rajajana Ranjana Jamuna Tira Vanachari Jamuna Tira Vanachari Jamuna Tira Vanachari Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hari Iradha Madhava Kunjabi Hari Jiradha Madhava Kunjabi Hari Si Si Radha Madhava Ki Jai Si La Prabhupada Ki Jai Gaur Bhakta Vrindi Ki Jai Nithai Gau Premanandi Hari Hari Bo Shrimam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shrimate Bhakti Vedanta Shamini Tinamane Namaste Sharashati Deve Gauravani Pacharine Nirvise Sasanyavari Paschachi Desatarine Panchaka Paturavyascha Krapa Sindhu Vyayavacha Patitanam Pavanebio Vaishnavebio Namo Namaha. So tonight, and which is your morning, this morning for you, this evening for me, we are going to talk on the topic of forgiveness. So if there's anybody. Hare Krishna. We want to pray. Hare Krishna. Yeah, Guru Maharaj, please accept the my humble businesses. Uh, 
Um, if there's anybody you feel you need to forgive, then um, you can think of that person or persons while I'm talking. Um, actually,呢，呃，如果你们呢有想要去宽恕的人，就在我们想要去呃讲这个主题的时候呢，你们可以就是去想象这样的一个画面。And if you think you need to forgive yourself, then you can choose yourself to forgive. 嗯，就是呢，呃，你们觉得应当宽恕自己的话呢，那么你们也可以就是选择自己为宽恕对象。so what what is the position of forgiveness in bhakti? Well, sometimes Prabhupada uses forgiveness as a synonym for tolerance. So we all know how important tolerance is. It's recommended in so many places in our books. Yeah. And we're also taught Amani na Manade not to be respectful to others and not want others to respect us. So therefore, forgiveness is a natural, it's a natural quality of a devotee. So in a Kwanshu, Jish Feng Yanza, so in a Jibe the Ego Feitang, Jiran the Ego Pinji. And materially speaking, it's a quality of Satva Guna. So what is a man like Shona? Jish. So we are supposed to at least be acting in the mode of goodness. So we are supposed to avoid any actions in the modes of passion or the modes of ignorance. So we are supposed to avoid any actions in the so, if somebody says, is practicing forgiveness important? Uh, the answer is practicing the mode of goodness, the many qualities in the mode of goodness is important. Uh, if because it's, it creates a foundation upon which to build our bhakti. At the at the same time, it's a qualification, it's a spiritual qualification. So I know some, some devotees think, well, you know, chanting your rounds is important, but whether you're forgiving or not, that's not important. <laughs> But Mahaprabhu says you should be more tolerant than a tree. If you're going to be able to chant the holy name. So it is important. We have examples in the Shastra of forgiving devotees. One of the most outstanding examples is Prahlad Maharaj. Uh, 
his father tried to kill him, and he prays to Lord Nishingadev to liberate his father. So he had he had no enmity towards the very person who was trying to kill him. And not only did he not have enmity, he was actually praying for his well-being. It's one of the amazing qualities of a devotee that they will pray for the well-being of people who are hurting them. So then you might say, well, is that is that necessary to become a pure devotee? Well, if we try to punish the people that hurt us, then we're degrading ourselves. Uh, but if we so we have another example. Ambarish Maharaj was offended by Durvasa Muni. But he didn't take any offense. This is difficult to understand because Durvasa Muni tried to kill him. Later on, he apologized and basically Ambarish Mara said, you, you know, don't worry about it, you you know, everything's fine. And So it wasn't a struggle for Ambarish Maharaj, it was just natural. It's natural for a pure devotee, pure devotee to forgive. So you know, just to Ambarish Maharaj, you like, so that's young to a female, then for the Jung Jack. Do you wait to do for him the life, so no? Draupadi, the wife of the Pandavas, had five sons. Draupadi, Pandava, the Ushundi, the Chizu, Tayo Gurzu. During the Battle of Kurukshetra, these sons were murdered while asleep. Jai Kurukshetra, Jijan Jona. And the person who murdered them was the son of their teach of the teacher of the Pandavas. I heard that in China you give great honor to teachers. Is that true? Yes. So Krishna told Arjun, you should kill. His, uh, his name is Abhimanu. He was the son of their teacher, Dronachari. He said, you should kill him. Mm. 
老师的儿子呢，呃，当时呢就是 Krishna 对阿尔朱纳说：“你应当杀掉他。” Asvatthama， 耶？不，嗯。Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. As 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 Vatama, yeah, yeah. Ah, 就是呢，你应该杀掉呃 As Vatama. Yeah. And um, and Dropadi said, if you kill As Vatama, then just like I'm suffering because I lost my sons, As Vatama's mother will also suffer. So don't kill him. Um, 但是多帕蒂却说，如果你呃，杀掉了阿斯瓦塔玛，他的母亲呢就会像我失去儿子一样，同样的受苦，所以不要杀掉他。By Chaturya codes, he should be killed. 但是呢，根据就是，呃，查崔亚的这个，呃，经典。呃，行为呢，他应当就是被杀掉。So that shows the the heart of Draupadi. She didn't want his mother to suffer. 但是呢，多帕蒂的内心呢，他并不想让阿斯瓦塔玛的母亲一样受苦。In the life of Takaharidas, we have an example of. Him praying for those who were killing him. 而在哈利达斯塔库尔的他的这个呃事迹当中呢，他也是为那些试图杀害他的人而去祈祷。So he was a Muslim, and because he was chanting Hare Krishna, there was there was a lot of It was just socially unaccepted, unacceptable. Because he is a Muslim, so for him, chanting Hare Krishna was not acceptable. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
，所以呢，他就进入到了 Shamadi， 然后呢，其他这些守卫们以为他就死掉了，然后呢，就把他扔到了恒河。That was nice of him, right? He was trying to help the, trying to help the people who were beating him to death. 嗯，你看一下，就是，嗯，他呢，就是想要去帮助那些想要把他啊鞭打致死的这些人。He knew that these people were just hired. They didn't really necessarily hate him, so he, he was actually concerned about them. 嗯、uh, ，所以呢，他知道这些人只是被雇佣来，就是鞭打他而已。嗯，他们本身并不憎恨他，所以呢，他非常就是关心他们。So he was thinking, these poor fellows are trying to kill me, and I'm a devotee, so Krishna is going to not be happy, and then and they will suffer. 他当时的想法就是，这些可怜的人，他们试图杀害我，因为我是以为奉献者，所以呢，他们会为此，呃，因为这样的行为 ，Krishna 肯定对他们非常的不高兴，他们就会因此而受苦。So while they were beating him, he was praying to Mahaprabhu, please protect them so they won't have to suffer. Please bless them. 嗯，然后呢？当他们打他的时候呢，哈瑞大师塔库尔甚至都为他们祈祷，向主持的念马哈巴布祈祷说：“请你就是能够啊、呃、祝福他们，呃，给予他们仁慈，不要让他们因此而受苦。” Now, Mahaprabhu's movement is really all about forgiveness because we've all done so many horrible things. And if we're willing to accept the practices of Krishna consciousness, then all that past karma is wiped out. 嗯，然后呢，事实上呢，主天的念马哈巴布的这个运动的实质呢，就是有关宽恕，因为我们在过往都曾经做过很多非常恐怖可怕的事情。那么，如果我们现在践行呃 bhakti 的话呢，那么我们过往的这些罪恶呢，都可以。啊，就是得到清除。So Mahaprabhu is willing to forgive you for anything you've done if you become a devotee. He'll wipe it off the record. <笑>就是呢，马哈巴布呢，呃，就是准备去一笔勾销你过往曾经所做的所有的这些啊、呃、罪恶，只要你愿意，就是修习 bhakti. And now that You've been forgiven. You can engage in bhakti. 嗯，所以呢，现在你被宽恕了，所以呢，你才得以可以呃进行修习 bhakti. So we can see forgiveness is really one of the essential elements in Mahaprabhu's movement. 所以呢，我们真的可以看出，这个宽恕呢是主持人念马哈巴布运动当中的。Uh, so, if Mahaprabhu is forgiving you, don't you think it's awkward that you're not forgiving somebody else? 嗯，就是如果马哈巴布都宽恕了你的话，你啊认为这不应当是我们的一个。呃，就是行为的一个呃举止，应当学着去宽恕他人吗 ？Have you ever said or thought I I can't forgive this person? 你有没有曾经说过或者想过，我无法宽恕原谅这个人 ？In spite of the fact that you've been given even more forgiveness than that by Krishna and by Prabhupada. 嗯，尽管就是嗯。你是处在这样的事实当中，你被就是查德尼马哈帕布或者是圣恩帕巴德，就是在给予更多的宽恕。Interesting idea to meditate on。所以呢，这
这是嗯，我们应当可以去冥想的非常有意思的一件事情。I'm being given forgiveness, but I'm not willing to give it to others. 就是呢，我得到了宽恕，但是呢，我却不愿意把这种呃宽恕给予他人。Yeah, so there's there's something wrong with that idea. So, 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 有关这一点呢，就是我们可讨论的话题，呃，要说的可以是很多的。So sometimes a person will hurt us. 有时候呢，有些人伤害了我们。But sometimes the people who hurt us are not actually are not actually doing anything wrong. We're just taking offense. 呃，但是呢，有时候呢，就是伤害我们的这个人，其实他并没有做错什么，我们只是把他，嗯、呃，视为就是，呃，伤害了我们，就是把他视为是一种冒犯。One time, a devotee named Jaman Dagni found that one of their Cows was stolen. Um, 曾经呢有一位呃奉献者就是 Jama Dagni. Yes. 然后呢，他发现这个啊母牛被偷走了。It was a special cow called the Kamadenu. 哦，就是一位名叫 Kamadenu 的特殊的一位呃一头母牛。So he was so upset he went out. To find the person who stole the cow, with the intention of killing him. <coughs> 然后呢，他当时就如此的愤怒，所以呢，他就前去寻找到底是谁偷走了他的这头，呃，母牛。然后呢，想要去杀掉他。When his father found out, he was very upset. 嗯、uh, ，当他的父亲知道之后呢，也是非常的生气。And he said, "We are Brahmins." 啊、uh, ，他的父亲说，我们是婆罗门。The our, our the foremost quality of the Brahmin is that we forgive. 就是作为婆罗门的一个主要的品质呢，嗯，就是我们应当去宽恕。Foremost quality of the Brahmins, forgiveness. 嗯，就是作为婆罗门的最重要的品质，就是去宽恕。You want to be a Brahmin? 我们大家都想成为婆罗门吗 ？Well, now you know the foremost quality of the Brahmin. 啊，现在你们知道了作为婆罗门的最重要的首要的品质。Yeah. So. What I find so interesting about forgiveness is it asks us to overlook the harm that was done to us, and then return that harm with well wishes and prayers for the well-being of that person. 嗯，然后呢，呃，我觉得这个宽恕的非常有意思的一件事情呢，就是我们。忽略他人对我们造成的这种伤害，而去考虑他人的这种福祉，而且呢，呃，就是为他人去祈祷。Nobody, nobody feels like blessing someone who's hurt them, right? 嗯，没人就是说，呃，喜欢去祝福那位伤害了他们的人。This is what's so interesting about forgiveness and why it can be so difficult. So, this is why, um, 
，嗯，就是有关这个宽恕是如此的困难。Sometimes people ask, how do, how do you deal with people who hurt you? 嗯，有些时候呢，嗯，就是人们就会，呃，问这样的问题，就是你们如何去对待那些伤害了你们的人？ And the real answer is pray for them, bless them. This, uh, 真正的答案呢，就是去为他们而祈祷，去祝福他们。That's what it means to be a devotee. 这就是成为呃一位奉献者，作为一位奉献者的这个含义。Now I'm not saying that's easy. 我可没有说要做的这一点是非常轻而易举的事情。I'm just saying that's what it means to be a devotee. 我只是说，这就是作为一位奉献者的一个真正的意义所在。And now you know what it means. You have to decide if you want to be a devotee still. 啊、uh, ，所以呢，你们知道了它的这个意义所在，那么你们就应当去理解，嗯、呃，就是。真正的一位奉献者，他的这个啊、uh, 内涵所在。If I'm angry and hateful and envious, those qualities are not the qualities of a devotee, and it's going to be an impediment to my bhakti. 啊，如果我非常的愤怒，然后非常的憎恨呢，那么这本身就是呃这个妨碍道路上的一种障碍。So, if you wanted to be a devotee, it's not really optional. So, then, if you want to be a devotee, it's not really optional. So, then, if you want to be a devotee, it's not really optional. It's good for the world. 所以呢，这个呃，宽恕呢，就是对你、对他人、对整个世界来说都是非常有益的。When you do not forgive, you actually cause yourself suffering. 嗯，当你不愿意去宽恕的时候呢，事实上你就让自己陷入到了这种痛苦当中。Example is given in the Mahabharat. 在 Mahabharat 当中呢，有这样的呃一个实例。Resentment is like you have a burning coal in your hand and you're showing it to the person that you resent. 嗯，就是呢，嗯，这种怨恨呢，就像是啊，你自己手里拿着这个。啊，就是烧红的、燃烧的这个炭，然后呢，你再向他人去展示这个烧着的炭。没。Who's getting Who's getting burnt by the coal? You or the other person? 嗯，所以呢，就是到底是啊、呃，你受到了这个烧着的这个炭的伤害，还是呃，你憎恨的这个人？ Sometimes we foolishly think that resentment will protect us. 有时候呢，我们愚蠢的认为怨恨呢可以保护我们。It's very important to understand. Resentment does not protect you; it destroys you. 所以呢，呃，要理解到就是。这种怨恨呢，它可不会保护你，而会伤害你。这一点是至关重要的。It's like I have this coal in my hand, and I think I have to hold on to this burning coal to protect myself from the person who offended me. How is that going to protect you? It will destroy your hand. 嗯，就比如说，就像是我手里拿着这个燃烧的这个炭，然后呢，我却认为。嗯，就是它可以就是保护我。事实上呢，它会呃，就是伤到完全的毁掉我的这只手。你如何能够认为
，你拿着这个燃烧的碳，它会保护你呢？它会伤到对方呢 ？So it is destructive on every level. 所以呢，在任何层面来说，它都是非常具有破坏力的。Now, when you become a devotee, some people will just not like you because you're a devotee. 当你变成奉献者之后呢，有些人呢，仅仅因为你是一位奉献者，可能就不太喜欢你。They don't even know you, and they won't like you. 嗯，他们甚至都。Um, 不知道，呃、uh, ，你是谁？他们就是不喜欢你。Or they'll criticize what you're doing. 他们会呃、uh, 批评你，批评你所做的事情。So this was going on. This was going on in India with the devotees in Bombay in Mumbai. 嗯，就是呢，嗯，这发生在就是在印度的孟买。哎 And、um, Prabhupada gave a lecture, and he was talking about it. How the devotees are being harassed unnecessarily, unreasonably. 然后呢，就是嗯，就是啪啪的在孟买讲课的呃时候所谈到的，就是当时呢，奉献者呃就是被受到了这个呃虐待。And he was saying, "We just have to tolerate this." Then, then, Papa just said, "We must be tolerant." People, Jamuna,、well, you, you muted yourself. Jamuna has Jamuna, unmute yourself. Jamuna, you're on mute. Hi, Krishna. Yeah. Okay. So I want to share with you an interesting thought. Ah, I want to share with you an interesting thought. Ah, I want to share with you an interesting thought. Anytime someone treats us in a way that causes us to act negatively, we should think, "What did that person just trigger inside of me that has caused me to act this way?" Hmm. Um. 那么呢，就是如果有人就是以一种非常负面的方式来对待我们的话呢？那么我们应当去问这样的问题。呃、uh, ，So what's the last、uh, sentence? What did the person do to trigger me in this way? 啊、uh, ，就是呢，呃、uh, ，那个人他做了什么？为什么？呃、uh, ，就是以这种方式来对待我。In America, if a person disturbs us by their actions, we say. This person pushes my buttons. You say that in China.、Mm. You understand, Jamuna. This person pushes us to pushes my buttons.、Mm. You know what a button、uh, is. You know what a button is. Yeah, 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 yeah. 就是有有时候呢，我们说有些人他们嗯，就是用他们的行为打扰到我们的时候呢。就是，嗯，我们就是相当于在中国里面说，就是好像就是呃，按到了自己的一个就是那种嗯爆点一样。What button button do they push? Uh, maybe they push the intolerance button. 嗯，那么他们到底是按了什么呢？按钮呢？或许他们就是按到了我的这个啊、呃、不不容忍的一个按钮。Or the frustration button, or the anger button. 嗯，或者是呢，他按到了我的这个沮丧的，嗯，这个愤怒的一个按钮
And there, there can be so many buttons that people push. Ah, 就是呢，人们可能就是嗯，直接就是踩到了我的这个愤怒的点啊，或者是让我非常沮丧的这个点。And you know the solution for button pushing? Ah, 你们知道就是当呃别人就专门踩你这种啊负面情绪点的话呢，那么这个解决方案是什么？ One solution is find a cave and live in the cave, and you won't have anybody around you to push your buttons. So that's one solution. <laughs> 其中的一个解决方案呢，你就找到一个洞穴，你就啊躲在里面。这样的话呢，周围没有任何人可以，就是啊触到你的这些啊负面情绪的这些按钮。And the other solution is don't have any buttons to push. 嗯，第二个解决方案就是你要让自己没有任何，就是别人可以啊、uh, 触碰你的这些按钮。So one of you might be with a certain person that upsets you, and you might say, you know, you make me, you upset me. Being around you is upsets me. 嗯，所以呢，就是啊， uh, 你可能会说，有些人他真的就是呃、uh, 让我非常的愤怒，然后呢。就是仅仅是在你身边，就是让我觉得非常的烦心。So what they're doing is triggering something inside of us that we need to work on. 嗯，事实上呢，就是嗯，他们所做的事情呢，就是啊、呃，去呃，激发了就是我们内在。我们需要去处理、去解决的一些啊、uh, 内在的一些问题。Have you ever noticed、uh, a person who becomes easily angry, and you wonder why are they becoming so angry? Nothing, nothing is that disturbing. <笑>你们大家有没有遇见过一些人特别容易就是嗯愤怒呃暴躁？就是即便是呃就是看起来是没有任何事情可以就是让他。嗯，打扰到他，让他感到愤怒的，他们也会生气、愤怒。So it's easy to see in another person, hard to see in ourselves what the problem is. 嗯，所以呢，这个问题就在于呢，我们很容易去嗯看到另外诶、呃、认为是另外一个人的问题，而很难看到是我们自己的自身的问题。Mm -hmm. So with resentment. When we have it, we can usually point to the cause, and often we justify the cause. This is why I'm resentful because this happened to me. It's natural that I would be resentful. 嗯，然后呢，有时候呢，我们嗯，就是非常变得怨恨的时候呢，事实上呢，我们应当去啊、嗯、找出来，呃，产生这种怨恨的根源所在。呃，而不是为此找到合理的一个借口，认为，啊、呃，就是我就是变得这个怨恨是非常自然而然的一个事情，我有充分的理由可以去怨恨。But、that's not true. It's natural for you in your present condition because you got upset, but not natural for everyone. 就没了 ，you're muted. <coughs> There's a little hobgoblin in your phone that keeps muting, muting it, and you have to get him out. Yamuna, your microphone 又静音了。Maybe. Krishna wants you to translate later on. Dana Kelly Mataj is here. Okay, Dana Kelly, you want to translate? Ah, Hare Krishna, Jamuna, you, you, the microphone, um, usual? Ma. Hare Krishna. 
Hi, Robert. Um, actually, um, well, I can translate for now if uh, Yamuna Manji has a problem with her microphone until she unmute herself, just to keep yeah. the class going. Okay. She'll be having some internet problems. Hmm. So, anytime somebody disturbs us, there's always this tendency to think this person is disturbing me, right? This is just the problem is the person. They just, they're just agitating me. But rather, we should think they're agitating something within me that I need to work on. Sometimes a couple will tell me, a married couple will tell me, we always fight. And I say, oh, do you like to fight? Well, they say, no, 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 we don't like to fight. I say, yes, you do. Because if you didn't like to fight, you wouldn't fight. <laughs> Simple, right? So, you know, if I say the same thing, if you're, if you can't forgive someone, I'll say, well, do you like being resentful, you'll say no, and I'll say no, you do like it, because if you didn't like it, you would be able to do something about it. Now, it's a fact that sometimes it seems like we can't do anything about it, but it's not true. When, when I had a very deep resentment issue, I didn't know how to deal with it, and I thought, I'm going to have this my whole life. And only after many years did I realize that the resentment was not caused by the person's action, it was caused by my reaction to his action. I'll say that again. I realized many years later that what he did was not the cause of my resentment. The cause of my resentment was the way I reacted to what he did. And when I was able to overcome that resentment, one of the ways I did this was by having a different reaction, um, a different response. I changed my response to what he did, changed my understanding. So rather than blaming him for what he did, I realized now I blame myself for how I reacted to what he did. Mm. 
Now, my reaction was the cause of the resentment, not what he did. 那所以说呢，我的这个怨愤呢，是来自于我对他所对我做的事情的反应，而不是他对我做了什么。And I, I had actually imprisoned myself by my own reaction to what he did. 那其实呢，我是把我自己关在了我对于他所做的这个事情，而自己所产生的反应的这个牢笼里。Does that make sense? I have a great question for you that, that you can ask. You can ask yourself. You know, when you're upset, you normally think this the way you're reacting is just natural. 就比如说，当你呃生气的时候或者气恼的时候，你觉得你的这种反应是一种很自然的状态。Ask yourself this question: Can I react in a better way? 那么呃，问自己这么一个问题哈，就是我能不能有更好的方式来反应来应对呢 ？Is there another way to react? 是不是还有其他的方式来应对呢？ Of course, the answer is yes. This answer is definitely yes. Another question you can ask yourself. Then you can ask another question. Could this mean something different from what I think it means? Then, is this something that means that it 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 means In other words, I think what this means is I think this behavior was very bad, very wrong. 嗯，就换句话说，就我觉得他的这个行为举止实在是太坏了，太糟糕了，太错了。So the question is, is there another meaning to this? 那所以这个问题就是，对于这个是不是还有另外一个意义呢？ Is this the only way this person knows how to act? Maybe. Uh, uh, 那么这是不是唯一的这个人他这么行为的原因呢？也许。If I had the same life as this person, would I have reacted in the same way? Maybe. 那那如果我要是和这个人同样处在他的这个处境中，在他的这个生活里面的话，我是不是也会像他那样去应对呢？也许是这样的。And there's so many ways to look at it. 呃，有有很多角度去看待这个事情。And by looking at it in those different ways, you would gain a new meaning, a different meaning. 那所以说，从不同的角度去看待这个事情的时候呢，你就会从中发现很多的意义，不同的意义。And when you have a different meaning, then you have a different response. 那你当你发现了不同的意义的时候呢，你就会有不同的反应了。Now, we talked earlier about praying for the person who hurt who hurt you. 那刚才呢，我们就讲了去为伤害我们的那个人祈祷。So often, when you, if you Try to understand the person who hurt you. You'll start to understand that that person needs needs your prayers. They're suffering themselves. 那么通常我们要这么去想，就是，嗯，这个害伤害我们的这个人，其实他是需要我们为他的祈祷的，因为他们自己是很苦。When you can come to the level of praying for someone. Who hurt you? Praying for the well-being of someone who hurt you. You've reached an extremely high level of Krishna consciousness. 那么，当你能够达到一个为伤害你的人去祈祷的层面的时候，你就已经来到了库什纳知觉的很高的一个层面了。And and this is what we're supposed to be doing. 那么，这也就是我们应该做到的，我们应该做的。And if we don't do this. We'll carry this deep resentment, this deep hatred within our heart, our whole life. 
那我们在整个一生中就会把这个很深的怨恨、很深的这种恨的这种感觉，会呃呃隐藏在我们的心里面，一直一直带着它。And you'll die with it in your heart. Um, or, 简单，你会让它在你的心中这样死去。So we can end there. See if there's any questions. 那所以我们这一讲课这部分呢，就先到这儿，看看有没有任何的问题。Um. Yes. The first one is from Vipul. 不愿宽恕他人的呃，他人的人的根源是什么？如何清除这种根源 ？What's the what's the cause? What's the root causing of uh, uh, don't feel like to forgive the others? How to clear that root? The root cause is a personal issue that you have. 呃，那么这个根源就在于我们自己所有的个人的原因。So generally, the way you find that issue is to ask yourself, what was I expecting from this person that they didn't give me, that upset me? 那我们去找到自己的这个原因呢，是去问一问自己这个问题，就是我希望从这个人身上得到什么，但这个人没有满足我，他没有给我。Maybe I was expecting affection, and I got scolded. That maybe I, uh, maybe I want to get from him to get love, but he scolded me. Maybe I was expecting honesty, and I was lied to. Maybe I was expecting honesty, and I was lied to. Maybe I was expecting honesty, and I was lied to. Maybe I was expecting honesty, and I was lied to. Maybe I was expecting honesty, and I was lied to. Maybe I was expecting fidelity, and I was cheated. Maybe I was expecting honesty, and I was lied to. Maybe I was expecting fidelity, and I was cheated. Maybe I was expecting honesty, and I was lied to. Maybe I was expecting fidelity, and I was cheated. Maybe I was expecting trust, and I was let down. Um, 也许可能我想我想要的是信任，但是呢，我却呃不被信任了。So generally, whatever you were expecting is connected to a very deep need of yours. 那所以说，通常来说呢，就是你所期待的那个东西。是和你自己深层的这种需求是连接在一起的。So the next thing I'm going to say is, is really the answer to this question. 呃，那我下面要说的呢，其实是对这个问题的真正的答案。If you didn't have the need, you wouldn't have the expectation. If you didn't have the expectation, you wouldn't have the resentment. 那如果你要是没有这个需求的话，那你就不会有这种祈求。如果没有这个祈求的话，那你也就不会有这种怨恨了。So I'll say it again. If you didn't have that need, you wouldn't have that expectation. If you didn't have that expectation, you wouldn't have been let down. Therefore, you wouldn't have had the resentment. If you are not, if you have no need, you will not have this need. If you have no need, you will not have this need. If you have no need, you will not have this need. If you have no need, you will not have this need. So let's say you have a very, very deep need for trust. And the person does something to break your trust. 呃，但是呢，呃，这个人他做了一些事情，就打破了你的这种信任。It's very likely that that's going to cause you to resent that person. 啊，所以这就很很有可能会导致你恨这个人。But let's say another person was treated in the same way as you were treated. But they didn't have a deep need for trust. They're probably not going to feel let down, or really even that disturbed by what happened. 呃，那我们说另外一个人哈，他遭到了和你同样的这个待遇，完全是一模一样的被对待了。但是他的内心深处呢，就没有这么深的信任的这个需求。所以说呢，他的这个反应就不会和您同样的呃呃呃激烈。And it's. It's not your fault. So this is not your fault. Because these needs you have were, they developed as you grew up, and there are reasons they developed in a certain way. Because you have these needs were developed as you grew up, and there are reasons they developed in a certain way. Because you have these needs were developed as you grew up, and there are reasons they developed in a certain way. 
or they developed in another life. 或者说呢，这可能是在其他的生世就已经呃被发展出来的。Right. So some people, if you don't show lots of affection and kindness, they'll tend to be upset with you. 所以，如果要是就是有这样一种人，如果你要是不对他好，然后呢，不对他很仁慈、呃，善良的话，那他可能就有可能会怨恨你。Do you know anybody like that? 大家认不认识这样的人呢 ？Yeah, some of you are saying, "Yeah, I'm like that." <笑>那有些人可能就会说，我就是这样的人。Yeah. So usually. If we're like that, at least one of the reasons is it's because we never got that affection, or we were maybe teased or bullied or put down when we were kids. And so now, if somebody does that, it's just we're already injured. It's just it's very difficult to take it. 那那有的时候就有的人之所以会有这样的需求或这样的原因呢，是因为从小我们就没有被爱过。或者说呢，一直是被欺负着这样长大的，所以说呢，在内心就有这样的创伤，所以再被别人再这么一弄的话呢，就会觉得受伤害了。So you're very sensitive to being criticized. 所以说呢，当你一受到批评的时候呢，就特别的敏感。It's like you're criticized so much. It's like now you're black and blue. 嗯嗯，因为呢，就是。You're very sensitive. 对，就是你，你因为已经被批评了那么多次了，你现在就已经是这个满身的创伤了，所以非常的敏感。So now you have this very sensitive arm. So someone says, "You know, you you know, you could do that better." Ow! It's so sensitive, and all you just said was you could do it better, but you heard that meaning you're bad. That's what that's what you heard. It's not what the person said, but you heard you're bad. 那那就是这样的，就比如说你的这个胳膊上已经是摔的是这个呃呃青一块紫一块的，所以呢就特别的敏感。所以这会儿如果有人跟你说你能够做的更好，然后这会儿你就会觉得天哪，你肯定你是在骂我，你是在批评我了。So you could even develop resentment over somebody just saying you could have done it better. 所以说呢，就当有人可能就跟你说了一句你可以做的更好，这会儿你就对这人产生怨怨恨了。Because you needed that person to say, "You are great. I love you. Everything you do is perfect." That's what you needed. That's what you needed for them to say. But they couldn't say it because you made a mistake, and they had to point it out. Because because you need the other person to say, "Oh, you are great. You are great. You are great. I love you." But they couldn't say it because they made a mistake, and they had to point it out. Because because you need the other person to say, "Oh, you are great. You are great. You are great. I love you." But they couldn't say it because they made a mistake, and they had to point it out. You know what's so interesting? We 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 learn that whatever you give, you get back. Uh, 就我们学到这一点，就是呃，你所给出的东西一定会回来的。So it's like if you want honor, if you honor others, somehow or other, it satisfies your own need to be honored. 也就是说呢， amazing. 就是特别特别不可思议的一件事情，就是，哦，如果你要是想受到尊重的话，那么你去尊重别的人，那你的这个被尊重的这种感觉也会呃走。So you want affection. Sometimes by showing affection to others, it satisfies your own need for affection. 呃，所以说呢，啊，因为你比如说你想要爱，那么你在对别人展现爱的时候，你也其实就满足了你自己的爱的需求。Because you get back what you give out. Because, 呢，你给出了什么，你就能够得回什么。And sometimes you have to give what you want other people to give you. You have to give that to yourself. Like sometimes, if someone won't cook for you, you have to cook for yourself, right? You, or yeah. 有的时候呢，你就得把你想从别人那儿得到的东西给你自己。比如说，如果要是你想让别人给你做饭，可是没人给你做饭，那你就得给，那你就得自己给自己做饭。So I need encouragement, and nobody's encouraging me, so I have to encourage myself. 
。所以说呢，如果我要是想被鼓励的话，可是这会儿没人鼓励我，那我就自己鼓励我自己。So Anuradha, Anuradha tells herself, you know, Anuradha, you're you're really doing good. You're really trying hard. You're sincere. The very thing you want other people to say, you just tell yourself, and it actually has the same effect. Believe it or not. Yeah, 就是你你呃，比如说 Anuradha 就说 ，Sir Prabhu, um, could you repeat about the part of Anuradha thing? Uh, you you you, I didn't hear that clearly about the part of Anuradha. The example you're using. She said, she, Anuradha tells herself, you know, I'm trying my best. Okay.、Um, I'm sincere. I'm trying my best. Well, I'm, you know, my service is coming out nicely. Okay, okay. An Anuradha, he just said, "Na, you know, I've already done my best. And I'm very sincere. I'm doing everything well. So, he's saying that he needs someone to say these things. But 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 he needs someone to say But sometimes you have to do it when nobody else does it because you need it. But but 但是呢，如果要是没人夸你的话呢，你就得自个儿夸自个儿，因为你需要被夸。Oh, I went to the temple for prasadam. There's no prasadam. I'm not going to curse every cook in the kitchen because they didn't make enough. I just have to go home and cook. <laughs> 哎呀，我来到庙里面，我想要 prasad， 但是呢，没有 prasad 了。可是呢，我就不会去诅咒在庙里面的这些厨师，因为他们没有做足够的 prasad。我怎么办呢？我就回家去自个儿做自个儿的 prasad 就好了。Have Have you noticed this? That sometimes people tell you something which is exactly the opposite of what you think about yourself. Have you ever noticed that happening to you? Yes. 真的有没有注意到这一点？就是有的时候人家对你说。And, and while they're telling you that you're thinking, no, you're wrong. <laughs> But it just shows that often people see us in a much better way than we see ourselves. 呃，但是呢，这就证明了什么呢？就有的时候，人们在人们眼中看到的我们，比我们自己看到的自己要更好得多。If you're trying your best, then why deny? Why deny that? If you, if you're sincerely trying to serve Krishna, why deny? Why pretend you're not? It doesn't help. You're trying to be so-called humble. So, if you're really sincere and trying to serve Krishna, why do you deny this? 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 Why do That your need to have other people say that is minimized or completely reduced. You don't need it because you're you're recognizing in yourself that you're smart, you're sincere, you're a good devotee. So you don't need other people to tell you that. So, when you do this, you will find that even if you need other people's praise, the need is reduced. Because you have already admitted yourself that you are. 挺真诚、很聪明、很好的一个奉献者的时候，你就不需要别人再这样告诉你了。If I think I'm stupid, if I think I'm a bad devotee, if I think I'm not sincere, then I need people to tell me, "Oh, you're so intelligent. You're so, you're you're such a good devotee. You're so sincere, isn't it?" And if they don't tell me that, then I become depressed. 嗯，但如果要是我自己觉得我特别笨、特别蠢，然后那不是一个好奉献者的时候呢，其实我就需要其他人告诉我。我是很聪明的，然后我是呃很真诚的，我是很好的一个奉献者。如果是别人没这么跟我说的话，我就会觉得特沮丧、特郁闷。So you are asking about the cause. The cause is that emptiness that we need from another person, and when they don't give it, we get upset. 那所以说这个根源是什么呢？这根源就是在我们内心中的一种呃空虚感。就这种空虚是希望从别人那里获得，但是别人没有给我们。Some other causes are more obvious. Just like a person is abusing you, then obviously you're not going to feel good. But there are other causes that are more obvious. Just like a person is abusing you, then obviously you're not going to feel good. But there are other causes that are more obvious. Just like a person is abusing you, then obviously you're not going to feel good. But there are other causes that are more obvious. Just like a person is abusing you, then obviously you're not going to feel good. But there are other causes that are more obvious. Just like a person is abusing you, then obviously you're not going to feel good. But there are other causes that are more obvious. Just like a person is abusing you, then obviously you're not going to feel good. But there are other causes that are more obvious. Just like a person is abusing you, then obviously you're not going to feel good. But there are other causes that are more obvious.
have some compassion for that person. That will help. That will help you a lot. 但是在这样的状况下的时候呢，你就应该对这个人心存怜悯，这样会很好的帮到你的。嗯。呃，婆婆。Did that answer your question? 所以 ，Vivo 马特吉这个回答您的问题了吗 ？She has the second part of her question. Okay. Okay. 那他这个问题是：这个世界就是不宽恕的世界，只有婆罗门、外圣那瓦才能宽恕吗？其他人做不到吗 ？So this world is a world of uh, uh, unforgiveness. Uh, is that true? Only the Brahmanas or the Vaishnavas can uh, forgive. Uh, none of the others can do that. No. 不是这样的。Everybody can forgive. 所有的人都可以宽恕。In fact. Bhishma Dev says it's it's one of the qualities of a human being, forgiveness. 事实上，呃 ，Bhishma Dev 他说呢，宽恕是人类所具备的一个品质。So, I mean, that's a heavy statement, but he gave nine specific qualities of human beings. 呃，这是一个很嗯、呃，就是很有重量的一句话。但是呢，嗯、呃、，Bishma Dev 他就给我们列出了人类所具备的九个特征。Another difficult one was not to become angry. <笑>另外一个挺难的一件事就是不愤怒。So you know, every time you become angry, you descend out of the human species. 所以说，每次当你在愤怒的时候，其实你就从人类的这个。Uh, according, according to Bishma Dev, and every time you become resentful, you're descending out of the human species. 也就是说，按照 Bishma Dev 的这个说法的话，每次当你在生气的时候，你就已经呃从人类的这个身形中堕落了。So the next question. Yes. The next question is from twelve. 伤害自己的人都是自己很爱的人，爱都受到伤害，还会在乎你的宽恕吗？呃，呃 ，the one who hurt us actually are those， 呃、uh, ，we， 呃呃呃 ，those we are beloved， 呃呃呃 ，those we beloved， 嗯，嗯，爱都受到伤害，呃、uh, ，when when the love to be hurt。Do we still care the forgiveness? I'm, 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 I'm. You, uh, please, this, is, this, 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 OK， 是这样的哈，就是这个宽恕它并不是一个选择题，就我们永远都是宽恕的。But, but after you forgive, the how you deal with the people may vary according to the relationship and the situation. 但是呢，在你原谅之后，你和这个人继续的这个交流方式，要取决于你和这个人之间的关系是怎么样的了。So you can forgive them, but it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be close to them. 那那所以说呢，就是你可以宽恕这个人，但并不意味着你就非要跟这个人非常的亲近。Forgiveness is it's necessary to purify our own hearts. 那这个呃，原谅呢是非常的有必要的一件事情，因为它要净化我们自己的内心。真的。In the Bhagavatam, Prabhupada says Krishna is pleased by those who forgive. So you don't want to give up your opportunity to please Krishna by not forgiving. So you don't want to give up your opportunity to please Krishna by not forgiving. So you don't want to give up your opportunity to please Krishna by not forgiving. But after you forgive, you can still create whatever boundaries you would like to create with that person. 但是呢，当你在原谅了之后呢，你依然还是和这个人之间去可以设立起
你想要设立起的一个呃界限。My dear Prabhu, I forgive you, but I don't want to have a relationship with you any longer, or I don't want to have a close relationship, or I don't want to be in the same room or house with you. That that those decisions can be made after you forgive. 嗯，我亲爱的帕布瓦，我原谅你了，但是呢，我不想再和你有这样的关系了，或者不想和你有这样的亲密关系了，或者不想和你再住在同同一个这个房子里了。所以呢，你可以去做出这样的选择。So when you forgive, it's not like you're saying what the person did is right. You're just saying I'm I'm not going to spend my whole life being angry. 那当你原谅之后呢，并不意味着你在说这个人做的事情是正确的，而是说我不想让我自己一生一直在愤怒中度过。Thank you, Prabhu. If you if you just think of your own welfare. 嗯，所以呢，你只是想想自己的福祉，想想自对自己的好。Then it it makes sense to let it go. 那其实，呃，让把它给放掉，就是挺合理的一件事了。You know, it's kind of like resentment is like a piece of glass in your foot. It just makes sense to take it out. <笑>那么，就这个愤怒就好像是在你脚上放着一块玻璃一样。那你应该把这个玻璃给它除掉，这是挺合理的一件事。You know, if you say, "No, I'm going to leave this piece of glass in my foot because it reminds me of all the trouble this person gave me." Then you're you're kind of crazy because you're just causing yourself suffering to, to so-called get back at the person, but actually they're just getting back at you even more. 嗯嗯，那这个对不起，是在你的食物里面那块玻璃啊。就如果要是你觉得不行，我就必须要把这块玻璃搁在我的这个食物里面。那因为我觉得这样的话呢，就能够让我心爽。但其实并不是这样的。那么，因为你再把这个食物里面一直放这块玻璃，就会让你一直处在一种很痛苦的状态。You have a piece of glass in your foot, and you and it really hurts, and it's difficult to walk, and you're saying, "I'm not going to take it out." 哦，还还是不行，不好意思，还是在那个脚上的那块玻璃。就如果是这个玻璃在这个脚上，那我如果一直带着它的话，我走路的时候就会很疼。Keeping this glass in my foot, I can punish the person who hurt me. How can you punish him with a glass? You're punishing. You're punishing yourself. But we think that's punishing them. But I, I will feel that I'm wearing this glass and I'm wearing this glass. And this pain, I'm punishing the person who hurt me. But actually, this pain actually makes me feel bad. How can you punish yourself? Well, the answer is you're not punishing the person who hurt you. You're 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 punishing the person who hurt you. Does not do anything good for you. It doesn't give you any protection, any benefit, anything. It just harms you. Uh, 那我就可以百分之百的向你保证，如果你要是一直都抓着这个怨恨不放的话，那他对你是没有任何益处的。他只是对你呃，会越来越让你伤，越来越多的呃伤害你。And it does everything bad for you. 而且呢，会呃。对你做就是很不利于你。Forgiveness does not mean approval. 嗯，所以但是呢，这个原谅并不意味着就认可。I forgive you for what you've done, but I don't approve of it. 嗯，我原谅了你所做的事情，但并不意味着我就认可你。Forgive you for what you've done, but I want nothing to do with you. 嗯，我。为你做的这个事情原谅了你，但是我不想再和你有任何的公呃瓜葛了。When you forgive, then you're letting go of that person and all the negative ramifications that that person's past actions had on you. 嗯，那那其实就是当你原谅了这个人之后呢，其实你也就是让这个人曾经对你做的这个事情从你的这个身上给他移去了。I think some of you are feeling resentment towards someone who's not even alive. Uh oh. That I think is that some people are feeling resentment towards someone who's not even alive. So take that resentment and put it into the fire. Put it into the fire. So take that resentment. 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 So take that resent
Put that suitcase into a spaceship. And send that spaceship to the moon on a one-way journey. Actually, you can actually do this meditation. With any any problem you want to get rid of, put it in a suitcase, put it on a flight to the moon, and just send it off. Now it's gone. On the moon, now, you can't get it back. That's where it belongs. Some of us think, well, if I'm not resentful, I'll forget what they've done and then I'll do it again. Don't worry, you won't forget. Sorry, Papa? Some people think if I don't hold on to my resentment, I won't forget what they've done to me, and I need to remember to protect myself. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a bad way of thinking. Now, a lot of times when you forgive any ill feelings you had towards that person become neutralized and you don't even have a problem being friends with them. Next question, Prabhu? Yes. Well, um, forgiveness or not forgiveness, is that a kind of symptom to show the advancement of the spiritual uh, progress? For example, um, someone curse Lord Krishna, uh, will we still forgive this person? We forgive the person, we just don't forgive, we may not forgive what they've done. And even, even if you're in a position where you have to punish somebody, you can, still pun, you can still punish them and forgive them at the same time. Because, because often, the person you won't forgive is the person you'll carry in your heart. Whereas if you forgive them, they can leave your heart if you don't want them in your heart. 因为通常来说呢，就是你要呃原谅的这个人呢，是一直在你的心里的。那你就你就要把它给原谅了之后，这个人就从你的心里面就给移除掉了，像在心里老藏着这个人，我带着这个人。呃，Next uh, question. Okay. The next is from Pushpa Sara Maji. 当看到恶人是，当看到恶人受到惩罚，我会很高兴。请问，Maharaj，这是违背宽容的宽恕的原则吗？ Uh,顶半年。嗯，Maharaj, uh, please accept my verbal basis. And uh, when I see those uh, very bad person to be punished, I will feel very happy. Uh, <laughs> so, 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 is this uh, am I violated of the principle of forgiveness if I'm doing like that? Mm. Only if it's a snake or a scorpion. <laughs> but certainly, certainly everybody was happy when Hiranyakashipu was killed. But 
even if you're happy that they're killed because they're causing pain to others, still you should forgive them. 但是呢，就嗯，因为他们给别人造了造成很多痛苦，然后他们被杀死了也很开心，但是你依然还是要原谅他们。we hate what they did. We pray for them. At least that's the highest stage. There was a man who was creating so many problems for Iskan. And when that man died, it meant that all those problems he were creating were going to stop. 嗯，那在伊斯康呢，有一个人，他在伊斯康造成了很多的麻烦和困扰。那么当他在死了以后呢，他所造成的麻烦也都被终止了。So definitely in that case, the devotees were happy. 那么在这样的这个情况下，奉献者肯定是很开心的。But we don't, we don't carry resentment with us. 但是呢，我们并不在内心中一直呃带着这个怨恨。Now, if you if you're hating somebody who's not in the category of a of this huge demon who's harming people, that's a problem. You know, hatred is tamasic. Mm, chicken, uh, toxic. To, uh, to, toxic, right? Um, toxic, mode of ignorance. Toxic oh, also. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 就是这个愤怒, uh, and tamasic is toxic. <laughs> yeah. So. You know, if you're trying to be a devotee, you don't want to hate people. Your, your desire is to see everybody happy. Supposed to be your desire. Look at Nitananda Prabhu. He's he's preaching to someone who's trying to kill him. 那比如说像朱明天南的跑步，他所扶传的对象是要杀他的人。What an example. 嗯，还有还有还有些其他的例子。Maybe we have a million devotees in Iskand. Wouldn't it be amazing if every one of us were were um like Nitananda Prabhu? 那我们在伊斯康呢，有上百万的奉献者。如果要是每一个人都像朱尼天丹的跑步那样的话，是不是特别的令人惊讶？What a wonderful world it would be. 如果是那样的话，是不是就会是一个非常美妙的世界？ You know the. The movement to share Krishna consciousness is a movement that uh, must be free of envy and anger and resentment because we're we're trying to be compassionate to people. It's now 8.30 in, in yeah. America and 8.30 in China, right? Yes. 8.30 a.m.? Yeah. Yes. So our time is up. Mm. We will save your questions for next week. Uh, 我呃，请大家就是我们会把下面的这个问题呢留着下一周再解答。Okay. Yes, Prabhu. We stop. We stop at eight thirty. Hare Krishna to everyone. Thank you for coming.
Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Nice to see all of you. Lotus faces. Hare Krishna. Show your lotus face, everyone. You all have lotus faces, right? <laughs> Especially when you eat prasadam, I think. Mooncake for you. This is a mooncake. Mooncake for, uh, for moon festival. Oh. Moon festival. Yeah. Yeah. Fest was that a Chinese festival? Yes. Yes. Yeah, the moon, moon festival is uh, one of the very important the traditional Chinese festival for families to get together and appreciate oh. the beautiful moon together. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And remember Lord Chaitanya? Uh, well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the moon over Nadia? You can, you can say Golanga Festival. <laughs> maybe, maybe someday it'll become the Chaitanya Chandra Festival. Yes, the Chaitanya Festival. The You can all, all the devotees can call it the Chaitanya Chandra Festival. The moon of Lord Chaitanya. And then if you reflect the moon of Lord Chaitanya, then you will give light to the world. And if you reflect the nature and goals of ordinary people, then you won't be able to help the people become Krishna conscious. Hare Krishna. Thank you for coming. All glory to Sri the Prabhupada. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Kr